To your, okay, I want okay. to position you so you're near, because I, hi. Hi, okay, okay sorry, <laughs> now we're live, because we've got two, two accounts, two cameras, anyway, not to bore you. Hi everyone, this is Jing. And this is Eric. And we're here for another segment of Coffee. And Fashion. So, anyway, we're super excited about today's show. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, we'll, let's get started, right? Yeah, so, I mean, we haven't been together in a while. I know what happened. You've been traveling. I have been. Safely. So I've been, I was in Palm Springs for February. Okay. Which was awesome. It was just like change of scenery. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, COVID. I was being safe, but it was a change of scenery. It was really, really nice to get away from LA and, um. Yeah. Um, it's not, Palm Springs is what, like a two hour, three yeah, hour I, drive? I wasn't really in work mode. No. But it's close. Very close. No, it is close, but it's hard getting back into work mode. But I'm so glad to be back with you. Yeah. What have you been doing? What's new with you? So I have been working a lot. I am. I know. Every time I like text you or call you, you're like either don't answer, not available, <laughs> busy, busy. I am in the process of uh, revamping and relaunching the entire site. So a lot of cool new things coming up. Is uh, your site Coffee Confessionals products. as well? Yes, coffeeconfessionals.com. And for my followers, Jing, Coffee Maestro, follow her on Instagram at Coffee Confessionals. Yes, and for Eric, Eric Him at Eric Himmel. Very That's easy, it. right? At Very Eric easy. Himmel. Full name. So, okay, you're revamping Coffee Confessionals website. Mm -hmm. Can you give us any, like, kind of like hint, like, when's it coming, the revamp? It's probably gonna, it's probably is gonna be like in the next week or so, I'm so and excited. I'm gonna actually have a lot of uh, fun new products to show you guys, and it's uh, you can buy it from the site and everything. So yeah, looking well, you know, to you that. know, I love to shop, so it's a new place for me to shop. Yes, oh, you're perfect. I am perfect. <laughs> be my for first it. customer. Okay, so anyway, today we have a fun theme for you. Well, first, it's not to be too political, but. For the people who have not been reading the news um, out there, there has been an uptick, a big uptick in mm -hmm. Asian hate crimes across America. 1,200% um, uptick across America from California Thanks. to New York. Um, and it's a real thing. And it's, you know, all crime is badging, but uh -huh. hate crimes, I think, are really, really bad because it has to do with ignorance. Yeah. And so it always really just makes me feel really not good. So my idea, our idea, yeah. was to kind of devote this show to Asian um, American businesses. Yep. Um, so Jing and I are going to tell you um, uh, coffee and fashion, talk about coffee and fashion, yeah. Asian American businesses we're excited about. Yeah, and um, we're super excited about both of these brands. Um, so what do you have this week? I'm excited because you know, I always like to tell people, I am not a coffee drinker. I'm like kind of a Cough, I'm like a closet wannabe coffee drinker <laughs> because I get crazy. But yes. I actually love coffee. I right? know Eric loves coffee. So for those of you just tuning in for the first time, Eric is a little bit sensitive to coffee, just like his body, his system, which is totally fine if you are, right? Like not everybody can drink certain beverages. So um, I usually try to like keep a little bit more like decaf. <laughs> Why, did someone say something funny? <laughs> but, love you, Eric. Love you too, mm. my keen FP. Hi. Anyway. Um, and if anybody has any questions, just shoot them out. Yeah, we'll, shoot them we'll, out. We'll, we'll take, try to... Yeah, we'll browse and try to answer them, but always ask questions if you want about yes. coffee and fashion. Yes. So what do you have this week? I'm excited. Oh, I am so excited. Okay. Um, so right now, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about... Here we go. Let's see. I don't know what to start off with. There's like so many. Um, so Lua Coffee is a Vietnamese coffee brand and it's started by Terry New and Terry Wynn, sorry. And um, she started this coffee company and it's 100% Vietnamese um, Arabica coffee beans. And it is roasted in Vietnam um, from, sorry, from Vietnam and um, distributed from San Diego and Dallas, Texas. And what I love about it Shout is- Shout out to Dallas. <laughs> Well, and San Diego. And San Diego. And so San Diego. I grew up in Dallas. Sorry, that's why I love San Diego. Um, the reason I love this brand is I'm kind of lazy sometimes, to be honest. And like, I don't always have time to grind my beans and do the whole thing, even though I love it in the morning. Sometimes, like, if I'm on the go or I'm camping or I don't really camp, sorry. That's, but like, that's if, why. If, if, somebody, if I'm like traveling. <laughs> but like, if, if we glamped, if we were glamping. Then, yes, if we're glamping. Then yes. this would be great. So yes. I just want to, like, this is something I want to point out. Like, you're a coffee aficionado, and even sometimes coffee aficionados 
are on the go and they'll have time to do the whole yes, major yes. brewing situation thing. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, so what I wanted to show you is, I'm going to show you two things. There's a uh, Sofalua coffee, which actually stands for a long uh, lasting unique aroma. I love that. And Lua also means uh, silk in Vietnamese. So I just, I love the brand name. So this is their pour over pouches. And so what it looks like, it comes like this. And then um, it's super fresh. The beans are already ground. So all you have to do is just open it up like that. And then you can kind of see. That is, that's, Isn't it that's cool? a really cool design. And then what you do. So it's open. You don't be careful, right? Because it don't come yeah. out. Yeah. So basically you just like sort of pull the little um, sleeves, the little flaps open. And it has little arms. It has little arms. And then what you do is just, you just put it right over your cup. It just rests, rests right over your cup. And then you take just hot water, boiling hot water, which you'll have, like, you know, whether you're camping or in a hotel room. And all you have to do is just pour. So I'm going to be kind of a, you know, a coffee aficionado here. And I'll give you like the proper way to pour. I would do a little bit to just let the coffee bloom for about seven to 10 seconds first. Bloom. You heard it bloom. bloom. I love that. I love that term. It's just like bloom. kind of like letting it seep, letting like, you know, letting the coffee beans, the gas come out. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, you just keep pouring. I want to go maybe like eight or nine ounces. Mm. You smell that? Yeah, I'm gonna just describe because I, I love yeah. the smell of coffee. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, because uh -huh. I know you always do. She loves to correct me. Um, is coffee an aphrodisiac? That smell? I thought it was like coffee licorice. I guess. I mean, or maybe the smell of. I think the smell of coffee I read yeah. was. And maybe I know. Oh, Jing! I want you so bad. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> actually, I'm not, I don't know. Really, know the answer to that. So, if anybody knows whether coffee is an aphrodisiac, I know like dark chocolate is, but coffee. Mm -hmm. well, let's go. Coffee with makes that. me happy, so sure, why not? The you smell know? of it does make me happy. To tell yeah. you, like smelling coffee, and oh, you know they use coffee this. beans like when you're smelling perfumes and you're trying to perfume in between. Yes, because it cleanses yes. the it cleanses the palate, the palate of your mm -hmm. your nasal palate mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So this is cool, and I love the idea. I'll just keep pouring while, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry. About oh, yes. Travel. It's great for travel, and also. Well, you know what I was thinking too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, on a plane, when people order coffee, this would be great. You can like just order some hot water and kind of do it. It was they probably have crappy coffee on a plane. Yeah, and all you have to do. Oh, that's a great point. Actually, you can just like bring these. There's you so know, many uses. They are. Like, you can bring them on a plane. All you have to do is just ask for some hot water. Um, or like if you're like at a hotel, sometimes like I'm such a Pain in, the, pain in the butt. I will bring my own like little grinder and like all of like my tools your like when I'm traveling. Your coffee accoutrements. My coffee accoutrements and it's just it's mm -hmm. a hassle and it's a pain in the butt so I'd rather not do that. Okay so then after you're done pouring you just literally take the bag take the bag out and is there enough in there plate. for for a full a full pour in a cup? Yeah, okay, totally. Okay, for sure. Yeah, okay. there's more. I mean, and as much as you as, probably wouldn't use it again. It's a one pour. Yeah, I, no, okay. it's okay. a single serve um, pour over. But what I did for you I today? Love that. Yay! Is, uh, I made time you, for my coffee. All right, hold it up so everyone can see. It's an iced coffee, which I love iced coffee, and I do love Vietnamese. I, I in the yes, in the old I made days, you a Vietnamese iced coffee. I've a little had, bit different. Vietnamese iced coffee is delicious, and you'll tell them why it is. Okay, so I made you a Vietnamese. Can I try it? Yes, you can absolutely try it. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Mm -hmm. Eric's been a little tired and jet lagged, or, so jet lag without getting on a jet. <laughs> I don't know how that works. So, so this one's different, right? Yeah, slightly different. It's still the same um, Vietnamese coffee beans, and what this one is is this is a single serve steep bag instead of a pour over. So let's just so much, really like a tea bag, what right? This looks like yes, it is kind of like a tea bag. So this is basically you put this into um, like a tea, like into your favorite mug and pour hot water. How long do you let it steep for? I would let it steep for like three to four minutes. minutes. Okay. Yeah, like not, not I, too long. I happen to love this idea because I'm clumsy and I feel like that's a, the other one's a little too much work yeah. for me. I love yeah. both, but I feel like, again, this is so great. You can Oh my God, smell this. this. Yeah. It's, it smells so good. So you know I always have questions yeah. for you because I'm coffee illiterate, really. <laughs> so tell me what would you say the difference is about Vietnamese coffee and like 
other coffee. I think people are used to probably coffee from South America, maybe yeah. Brazil. I mean, to be honest, like Vietnam, uh, Vietnam is actually the world's second largest coffee producer. Did you know that? No. Yeah. No, I really didn't. Number one being Brazil. I mean, that's not a big surprise, but um, I that's like something that I found out recently too. And I was super like, I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Um, mm. Oh wait, we didn't talk about that. Sorry. Just sorry to jump around. We didn't talk about what oh, yeah. Vietnamese what, iced coffee actually is. Oh, what's in here? Why I'm going? Why I'm like yeah. going? Not just because. It's a not little just bit like a the dessert. coffee is from Vietnam. It's a little bit like a dessert. But it's why is it so, so good. good? What did you put in it? Uh, condensed milk. That's the secret. Condensed mm. milk. Yeah. Well, condensed milk makes everything better. But I remember this from having Vietnamese coffee in a Vietnamese restaurant. Like yeah. that's the the sweet taste. It's so good. And you know, with summer coming up around the corner, mm -hmm. and you don't want you want to go from transition to hot yeah. to a cool coffee beverage. Yeah. This is a great yeah. one. The condensed milk is milk and sugar basically, so you don't have to add extra sugar. I would There's make no it. There's no shame in that. There's no, no shame, shame in, in condensed but milk. But I would make it with hot coffee, then put like a spoonful of condensed milk, because then it, if you make it with cold, oh, if yeah, it's that's... like you put the ice in first, then it just gets chunky. Oh, that's, so that's, that's a good That's just tip. something to remember. Yeah. That's a good tip. And this is yeah. easy. I kind of love this, but again, it's so portable. Mm -hmm. You can take it with you to work. You can mm -hmm. take it when people start going to work in. Um, work. And this the, is great the... for compost, too. You can just like put in your compost right afterwards. Oh, because what it's made of? The mm -hmm. whole, the, the ingredient? The I whole mean, thing. the whole yeah, situation. The bag, the. So, com the... Compost compostable. 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 Yeah. I, actually, that's great. I love it for sustainability. So, this is yummy. Yeah. So, yes, back to Vietnam, uh, Vietnam being the second, um, world second coffee bean. Uh, um, coffee, yeah, grower, producer, producer, producer. I mean, I think like with Vietnamese uh, beans, you usually find, although they have more um, ro uh, robusta beans, but um, the arabica beans, which is actually the ones that this is a hundred percent um arabica beans. The robusta beans are the more ones that probably people are used to, right? The, yeah, the yeah, ones yeah. more like South American beans. Yeah, I mean arabica is more um, it's more widely used. I would say oh, like seventy percent of the world. Uh, uses arabica beans and then like 30 percent is ro uh, robusta <laughs> i keep like mispronouncing this sorry robusta it's 30 percent and um with vietnamese coffee you'll probably find like it's a little bit you'll taste notes of like malt and like brown sugar um caramel mm, those really come out that's it's why like, i like it you're saying yeah. all my words brown sugar caramel caramel malt yeah things so like that is that so there is a difference i mean not all beans are the same like there's a difference between vietnamese coffee taste and like a Brazilian coffee, probably, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it really depends on where the farm is, too. But mm, yes, the soil. there's certain there's certain distinct flavors. For acidity? Uh, Did I make that up? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I think the acidity also <laughs> you'll it plays into it, but also like acidity can be sort of um, adjusted during your roasting process as well. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things will go into it. But um, yes, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention about this brand is that they are doing some really cool discounts. Um, so if you are a student in Southern California, you should sign up for the Compile uh, app. It's C-O-M-P-Y-L-E. I will have it in our description after the show and you'll get 20% off if you sign up with them um, and order the products. Or if you're not a student like me and Eric, um, I'm not a student. I'm a student. Not, sorry. I'm a student of the world. <laughs> we're not students. No. Um, in case you didn't notice, you can also order through their website, uh, Lua Coffee, L U A, and get twenty percent off with my special discount code CC twenty. Oh, CC twenty. I yes. love that. Um, again, this is a, a great gift. Um, so. Yes. What was I gonna say? Um, yes, she's, Vietnamese, she's too. Vietnamese American, correct? Yes. Okay, I love that. So. Yeah, we're super excited. Um, I'm gonna continue to drink this. I know. I kind of wish I had some sugar in mine, but I like you know what? It's oh, black. Why I like my black coffee just the way it is. So. Oh, it's so good. Like, it is good. It. So what I have for you this week is. Um, I found a really cool Asian American designer. Yes, I want to hear about fashion. Yes. And. Um, I love her. I just found her. I just, you know, was trying to find somebody kind of cool and she's... What's her special, like, what's her specialty? Like, her lines? She does, she came from an industrial design background, so mm -hmm. everything is like form meets function. And the company is called Orimi, yeah. O-R-I-M-E-I, -E mm -hmm. and it's a kind of a combination of um, a play on or, origami uh, fold wear, she calls it. Mm -hmm. So everything kind of folds into itself, and so it's very functional, um, packable, non uh, washable um, doesn't wrinkle so this she just did a um, what's it called a fun a, uh, 
uh, GoFundMe um, thing that actually ends in four oh. days. And she got, she she surpassed. So oh my you have four days to get the... the um, Definitely support on GoFundMe. Yeah, the, the discount. Um, so if you go to The Aura Me on Instagram, there's a link on her page. It's, uh, the O-R-I-M-E-I, Aura Me. Um, short again for origami. And I love her. Um, from LA, Asian American. Um, these are produced in LA. There's so many great little pictures. So what I love about it is that it full, it's, a, it's a coat, comes in six colors. Here's the back of it. I'm gonna show yeah, you. Hold it up. Really pretty pink color. I love yeah, this. Show, wait, what's so it lines, folds yeah. into itself, which I'll show you in a second. It's really super cool. And I believe you have four more days to get the um, the uh, Kickstarter price, which is one thirty five. Um, here it is on different people. I love on different so models. O R M E I, right? O R M E I, the or me, on Instagram. I love this. And then look at, okay, it's just really great. I also love, because it comes in sizes zero to 22. So it's to really, what, what, I know. What does that mean? I'm like, so. Z zero to 22 means it comes in sizes extra small uh -huh. to extra, extra large. Oh, means okay. that it will fit a wide range of women, which, you know, I always, being a stylist, that's so important to me. Yeah. Um, that, you know, that, that there's options for all body. Okay, body can I, food. question, can I ask questions? Yes. Am I allowed to ask questions? Okay, ask, so I... I what, let me just show you what it folds into. Okay. It folds into this bag, which is so cool. Oh my gosh. It folds into a bag. So it folds into itself. It has a handle built in, and then you can actually carry things on the outside of the bag. A wallet, a cell phone. So the function is there. These are the great colors. It's green, gray, taupe, red, pink, and I'm missing one. But these are the colors. Washable. As I said, you can pack it, doesn't wrinkle. I just feel like that is so cool. Red, taupe, black, mauve, green, and gray. It's so so cool. Um, and one thirty-five on for the oh for the early bird. I think you have four days to do that. Um, and then I don't know how much it's going to be, but it's super cool. Her name is um, Angela Wang, mm -hmm. the designer, the creator, and I think I just love it. I love um, fashion that is. You know, practical. I love they think of for travel. I love yep. when they think of like um, produced in America. All these things are hitting the the notes that I love. Okay, so questions. Questions. You know, I have questions because I'm a fashion. Can you come newbie. back into my screen? Because I know you love. Yes. You're always afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> I am afraid of you. Your bite is worse than your wait. What? How my bark it? is worse. Your, than your bark is worse than your bite. Mm. Um. So. This brand, I, I mean, first of all, I love everything about it. With the bag, I think, like, it's just so fun. Especially if you're traveling, you can just, like, if it's hot, if it's cold, you can be, like, wearing a bag, and then, voila, right. now you're Well, have not just traveling, if you're going out. And, yeah. you know, weather changes in different cities, right? Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's cold. You you don't need it yet, or you need it, and you carry it like if it's your bag. Yeah. And you don't have to carry a ton of stuff in bags no. anymore, so you don't need a huge you bag. You can just, like, put everything in there. But it is something that folds into itself. I mean, I just, how... That is so cool. How did... I don't even know how she came up with the idea. Because she um, she studied, um, what did I say, industrial design. And so oh. she comes from that background of, like, things should have a purpose. What's, a what kind of material is it? I will tell you. The, the material, this is what makes it so great about it um, not, be, not being... Um, being wrinkle-free and packable. I also just love like these bags. It's a polyester spandex blend and uh, machine washable. Like I said, wrinkle resistant. It's a waffle texture. And I mean, it's just, it's chic. And I love that it's just, it's com I mean, it looks like a very, as a stylist, I can kind of like tell what these things are gonna be yeah. like. And it's just a great throw on coat, great weight. This is a great transitional coat from, you know, from going into spring yeah it's great for um weather when it gets a little rainy i feel like in cities especially like I, um I'm, I'm trying to think of cities that like pittsburgh and paris i know those are two like very different cities but i think a lot of cities maybe like, not i just LA, feel like the weather but... varies a lot like one in the morning it could be perfectly sunny and then all of a sudden it's windy or rainy and you're just kind of stuck with i always when i was traveling i was like okay always wear layers always have a coat even if it's a light one when you're traveling just so you have that like ability to you know change or and the bag thing is so cool like, it's I really I cool i love more. things that fold into itself so i love it she's again an asian american business yeah um obviously kind of a young business 
and um, made in LA, um, designed in LA, and just really, really cool. So check her out. Yeah, and there's it, only four more days to her Kickstarter. I think it's four right? more days for that. For that, we'll have price. the link. We'll have the link in the profile as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so going back to another question that I had. This is kind of I don't know if a silly question, but like for our audiences, sizes. You said zero to twenty-two. So what I mean in terms of extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. And extra, extra large. And extra, extra large. What is the range? Like extra small probably be like a zero, zero to, to one. Two. Zero to two. Zero to two. One's okay. not a size. Sorry. They're just, they're, e I know. I know we have to remember, um, Jing doesn't get out much shopping. <laughs> um, so. I just live in a cave with my coffee beans. <laughs> oh, Joel said you're turning into a caffeine addict. I'm like, oh, I, I am. It's very exciting. Um, so yeah, yeah, so it's even sizes. So there's a chart there, but all you need to know is that it's even sizes okay. and it's zero to 22. Zero so to if 22. you're within a zero and 22, which the majority. Small is four to six, right? And yes. Small of course. Okay. Uh huh. And if you're in the, if you're in a z range of zero to 22, which the majority of women are in this okay. country, which is again, nice to have options. Cause sometimes like, you know, people design for zero to eight and it's ridiculous. There are women who are bigger than an eight. Yeah. And like they need to be addressed, so I just I love this I love this um, this design. It was really That's cool. So, I wish they, that you would like come out with something for guys. Although I, I guess like you don't really need to turn it into a bag for guys, but that would be cool to have like a very light coat. Well, yes, but you know what? Right? That's not PC anymore because you know we're really heading into a place of things being unisex. Okay, and That's like fair. yeah, there I think just a lot of younger designers are saying that you know what this is for whoever wants to wear yeah. it, and if you're comfortable in it. Um, then I just saw a whole, this is a whole other show, but I just saw this really interesting article about this guy in like Britain and he's like married, you know, heterosexual, has kids, but he likes to wear high heels and skirts. And he's like an oh, engineer yeah. or something. Like he looks like not your, not that there's a type, but I kind of love that, that people are just, you, you know, know, doing, that doing them. actually brings me back to our first episode, in case you missed it, um, where Harry Styles mm -hmm. was on the cover of Vogue, and he was wearing a dress, right? He was wearing a skirt, but a yeah. Skirt. I mean, so a lot of... I kind of love that. Like, I don't know. I guess never say never, but I don't criticize people who... Men who want to wear skirts. I'm like, yeah. you know, you know what I always equate it to? Why is it on Halloween it's okay when people dress oh, how they want to? That's true. But, um... Not do it every day. You can do it any day, seven days a week. Yeah, I, I kind of want every day to be Halloween. Like, just <laughs> just be just dress like not Halloween, but just just be who you want to be. Yes, yes. You I, know, like, you know, be a Furby if you want. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um, yeah. So, I'm so to think for, what else? For, for for my followers, I always do a shout out. You know, follow Coffee Confessionals. That's Jing on Instagram, and she's everything coffee. A world of coffee, and she has a great announcement coming up soon. Ooh, so excited! And for uh, my followers, Eric Himmel, H I M E L, one M, one M, um, www.erichimmel.com, um, to get all his fashion tips and advice. And it's just so fun to like watch your content sometimes. Like you've been on so many different shows. Oh, he's also on Us Weekly, Fashion Police. Um, so all of the snarky comments. We don't them. like to call them snarky. Oh, we just like sorry, to call them fun. <laughs> like to call them fun. Yeah. And we're, we poke fun. We're not, it's just poking fun. It is. It's, it's also really kind fun. of helpful about like, don't do this at home. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but um, we're going to wrap up, keep this show nice and short. So head into the description. We'll have everything from the Kickstarter campaign that you should support for this amazing um, Aura May company to Lua Coffee that you can get um, with the discount codes. And I'm trying to think, oh, my last thing is if you guys have any other questions or topics you want to send our way, we'll be happy to cover it. Yeah, if you have any fashion or coffee topics, we are happy to oblige. Yes. Um, and also if there's anyone that can help Eric with his Instagram live next time so mm -hmm. I don't have to do it every time. Um, yes. Please. Please send your resume. Please raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much. See for you next time. Bye. Bye.